All right, the follow up the Pink Floyd Wish You Were Here solo. You ready? So in a previous video, we covered how to play the intro. Right, so the link to that is going to be down below. So this is just how to play the solo section. So I'm going to break it up into four patterns, just four little lead parts. Um, three of them are very similar. The tough one is with double stops, that's notes and harmony together. But it's, it's very doable. You can do this. All right, so the uh, the first part, I'm gonna go frets five to seven on string two, and I'm gonna slide in, and then play fret five on string one. So slide, and the most important part is at the beginning of this measure there is an eighth note rest. So it's like one, two, three, four, one. So it's all about where you start. If you can start on the right place, it's on the back beat of one. One and a two, one and a two, three and four, or sorry, three E and one and a two, three E and, and that three E and I'm going seven on fret or on string one, fret seven on string one to fret seven on string two, and then fret five on string one. So I got my slide in five to seven. Five on one, seven, seven, five. And the string one, two, one. Then here I'm just gonna go second fret. Second fret of string one, pull off to the open. Third fret on string two. Second fret on string three. This is kind of like doing a G sus chord. Or I can hit the open G instead of the third fret on the second string. And then this part, if I'm resting on that second fret of string three, I'm going to then go to the middle finger on fret three of string four, the G string, slide a half step, then hit the fifth fret of string one twice. All right, so all together, part one. And then this part feels rhythmically different because it's a triplet. So it's one and a two, three E and triplet one. All right, the next part is the double stop part. This is the tough part. Um, if you can't quite get this right away, that's fine. Come back to it. Move on to part three and part four. So this one, I'm gonna go all the way up. I'm gonna slide from fret 10 which is a dot, to fret 12, which is a dot. I'm going to use two fingers, but you can use one, and I'm doing a double stop in string one and string two and sliding up. Then I'm going to do something, so I'm going to slide up. You can slide up and slide back. I tend to like to, on the ukulele, slide up and then come back. And then I'm going to do something similar. This one I like to bar the index finger. Frets five to fret seven on string one and string two as a double stop as well. And then I'm gonna follow that up with an open G string. So I got 10 to 12, back to 10, five to seven, back to five, and then the open G. And then here's the cool tricky part. I'm gonna slide up from five to seven, then seven to five with the pick and then an open G. Follow that up by sliding five to seven 
on the middle two strings. So on string two and string three, five to seven. So I got. I'll do that one more time, really slow. All right, fun part. Might take a lot of practice. If you get it right away, congratulations. If you don't, just keep working at it. So we're gonna move on to part three. Actually, I'll play it one more time. All right, and full speed. Now I can use two fingers here. And if I did, I'd probably use middle and ring and then use index and middle to do that slide on the middle two strings or pinky and pinky and ring and middle and ring all right so moving along part three and part four are very similar to each other so if you can get part three part four should be pretty easy as well i'm gonna throw a little bend in here which is not traditional on ukulele but it's a bluesy song. It's going to sound just fine. All right, so we're going to start this off similar to how we started off riff one. It's going to go one in a series of 16th notes. One, 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 and a two E and. What I want to do is I'm just sliding five to seven on string two, five on string one, back to seven on string two, and seven on string one. Next move, I'm going to go a half step above the seventh with the same finger, the ring finger. I'm going to slide it down a half step from eight to seven and then to the fifth fret. Then the seventh fret of string two to the fifth fret of string one. Before resolving to the fifth fret of string two. So on string one, eight, seven, five. Seven on string two, back to five on string one, and five on string two. And then we do a little bend here on, on string seven for the next part. Just a little attitude bend. I'm just going to bend it a little bit towards the ground. You can bend it towards the ceiling. So bend it, fret seven on string two, five to seven on string one, bend on fret seven on string two, and back to the fifth fret. So play a part again, goes one. Slowly. One. All right, and part three starts off the same way. Back beat of one, one. And this time, instead of going up to fret eight, I'm gonna fry, I'm gonna slide fret seven to fret nine, and come back to seven. And then go straight down the pentatonic, pentatonic scale. Seven, five on string one. Seven, five on string two. Then a little bend on seven. And back to five. And that ends it. So that part again. One. All right, so all together we got part one, one. Here's the triplets. Part two with the double stops. Part three. Part four. 
part four. And just a review of the chord progression that goes with the song. The intro is just an E minor chord. Sorry, it's a D shape on the guitar, a G on the uh, ukulele, and then the verse is going to be an eight bar pattern, and it starts with C, D, A minor, G, then D. All right, so that is how you play Wish You Were Here on a ukulele. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any requests, any comments, want to leave some love, some hate, whatever, do that in the comments section below. Um, again, links to the intro down below. And uh, yeah, I know this isn't the right album art, <laughs> but I don't have a Wish You Were Here shirt anymore. So I just had to wear the dark side shirt. All right, I hope you had fun and we'll see you the next time.